Hello and welcome to this tips and tricks video on Analytix Hub. I'm Shilpan Patel. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a slope graph in ClickSense. Slope graph was first created by Dr. Edward Tarpke, and an example of that is on his site, as you're seeing in this depiction. So, as you can see, benefit of using slope graph is that not only you can see percentage change in value, but you can also compare dimensional values among list of values. So in ClickSense, we don't have a slope graph, but the good news is that with set analysis and a little bit of trick, we can create one quite easily. So without further ado, I'm going to dive in and show you step by step how to create a slope graph in ClickSense. So here I am in my ClickSense desktop. We'll start with line chart because we can use line chart and modify the expression with set analysis to create a slope graph. So we'll have two dimensions. We want to show a change in margin value by country for various time periods. In this case, it's going to be year. So let's start with year. And the next dimension is country. Now we're going to add a set syntax and that's the trick. So we're going to start with sum of margin. Now that expression is known to you. And here we're going to add set analysis syntax. So we'll start with pair of curly braces and pair of angle brackets for the modifier. And within the angle brackets, we're going to start with a field name. So modifiers are keen to a where clause in SQL. So here we're going to have a field name equal some value. So year will be, and on the right hand side, we're going to have a list of values, what we call element set. And that will also be enclosed in pair of curly braces. Now within that, I'm going to have an expression. So expression starts and ends with double quotes. And within that, I'm going to use dollar sign expansion. Remember, anytime you want to use an expression within set syntax, you got to use dollar sign syntax. So it will be greater than or equal dollar in parenthesis and less than or equal dollar sign parenthesis. And within the first dollar sign, we're going to write an expression which always starts with equal sign max year minus one. And the second expression is going to start with equal max year and that's it. So this will be a range of years so that user can select a year and it will co compare that year with prior year. All right, so that's our expression. Now we got our slope graph, but that's not quite similar to how we seen on Dr. Edward Tupte's page. So let's make some changes. First change we're going to make is to change the color so that we show all the lines in gray color. And then we'll make a little bit of tweak so that if user selects a country, that country should be in dark gray versus other countries in light gray. Okay, so under appearance and color, we're going to change from auto to custom and we're going to add an expression and the expression is going to be match year and if it matches with max year then dark gray otherwise light gray and i'm going to throw pick function around that to pick dark gray, otherwise light gray color. And I'm not going to explain match and pick functions. If you don't know, search for it. These are very powerful functions, but match in general is SQL equivalent of in. So if you know SQL, you'll say year in 2010, 11, etc. And pick function is a short form of nested if in click. So that's our expression. Let's apply that. Now all the bars are 
dark gray because all values are possible. But once we select one of the countries, you will see the difference. So uh, let's make a few more changes such as show data points and values. Now our chart starts looking similar to how it shows on Dr. Edward Tufty's site. We also need to customize the label for the y-axis. So let's go ahead and make changes there too. So for the data under measure, we're going to change this expression. And since it's a label, when we blend a text with an expression, we're going to start with equal sign. And we're going to have max year here. So max year. And then we're going to add a string versus and max year minus one here. All right, so it shows now 1998 versus 97, nice. So now we're going to add a few filters. So from chart, let's go ahead and add a filter pane. And we're going to add two filters. So one is year and the other is country. All right, so if I click done and select country Belgian, nice, so it selects that value, but we lost all the other values. So we're going to tweak our expression. Let's go ahead and make a slight change in our expression by adding one as an identifier. That's the trick. With one, we're not only going to see the value that users select, but also all the other values in light gray. So apply, and there you go. Now, as I make selection, so if I clear this selection, and if I select Brazil, I see value for Brazil in dark gray versus all the other countries are in light gray. So this is how with bit of set analysis and color expressions, we are able to create a slope graph that resembles the one that Dr. Edward Tufty created on his site. Now, if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, but I also like you to join our academy. So on analyticshub.io, you can join as a free member and we have a ton of content on the academy. As you see, even our free members get tips and trick videos and lots of other content for free because our aim is to show the quality of content that we create. And we hope that you'll join our academy where you get access to all of our courses. And in addition, one hands-on project-based training to help you get certified. So just for less than a cup of coffee a day, we promise to make you an awesome Click developer. And as always, Thank you for watching.